What up guys, it's Mikaki and I am here with a new project that I am creating. As uh, I've been working on multiple things lately, like AMVs, my Xenoverse clips are yet to be edited and uploaded, but there are some of those coming out still. I have yet to make another live stream for my next inclusion my own little mini series of a Dragon, Dragon Ball Kakarot called Dragon Ball Sets that will be happening soon also for today I'm in starting my introduction of character analysis for my new series my, one of my to be honest most planned out and most dedicated series for the game that has by far I've played the most live streams on besides Yu-Gi-Oh which is its own little thing that happens every now and again if you know what I mean this project right here is called DC Heroes of Tomorrow Legends of Today and I will be in going through all the characters that are in the series every character on my list like all my characters they're not all in there only certain certain few are in here and the characters in here play or like basically like people that play significant roles in my life in real life so I'll tell you now like the eight characters they're not all in there and even then there's so many characters I put in there that at the end of the video we'll be getting into like my own friends screenshots of the characters I had him make for me so he can use some of these characters because to be honest, there are a lot of people that impact my life that I want in this roleplay. And without further ado, let's get to the first character that I'm actually on right now who represents me, Zeref Giovanna. Zeref Giovanna, uh, during the time of DC, DC Heroes of Tomorrow, Legends of the Day, he is, at the start of it, 25, he is the leader of the group known as... Tokyo Ninja High and I get it Tokyo Ninja High is like Tokyo Ninja High School but it's not it at all. Tokyo Ninja High is like heroes heroes that start off in high school like they will be basically just driven it's confusing but it's not like that it's very confusing the concept it will be more explained when the series actually starts but Zero Giovanna is based off of me he is an intro I'm not like this in real life but at home I am an introvert but around people I am more active and he wears a mask it's the same way I wear a mask to hide his emotions except the mask physically just doesn't show how he like he doesn't show a smile like the mask shows a smile but it hides everything and it represents me putting on the mask that I never cry in front of people never ex I really express my emotions and it's just like this mask just it, it hides the pain and the burden that could be expressed in my face and it hides my emotion my power is earth because Earth, it's like it's basically a simple power, really. Earth is like something I really just, as a kid, like to control. Like I always saw myself as like Toph or Gara, and like I could just like just bend the Earth and the sand to my own will. And hand blast, his actual thing is not hand blast. He's multi talented. He can use hand blast. Like, send her a Dragon Ball Z character, just pew pew pews and all that. But he also has mastery with martial arts and a staff and a shield. And his fight is skimming, it's like Silver Surfer. And he is basically the one of the main three protagonists of the series. He is a introvert leader who basically is just prepared to lay down his life for the mission and his friends. 
now to the next character that represents this girl that I like and she was a recent inclusion which stopped me from actually just kicking the series off how I wanted it to and that is not you, not you, not you, not you, not you. Right here. Katara. Her name is Katara, but you have to understand, my name isn't on my real character. The name I use for my YouTube, the name my friends call me, it's not on this character. It's not on any one of these characters, actually. Zeref represents me. Katara represents my crush, this girl I really like and want to be with. Maya. Her. Maya is not introverted. She is very out there. She doesn't express her emotions, but she is out there and she likes to help everyone. And she's like, I'll have to say, she is what keeps everyone together. She keeps everyone happy. She makes sure, she makes sure that no one feels unwelcomed in the entire main cast but she is and her power is water because in this game water can heal people and that's where her name Katara stems from because Katara in Avatar was a healer and she also has a fondness for Zeref who is the main character and basically could be the Avatar she has acrobatics because she's basically like a real life character because she's basically like a real life character she can't fly but she can learn acrobatics and flips and use grapples and all that and she used two handed handed she also can do dual wield and pistols and one handed And her name is Katara Sensei. So that's basically it for this character. Her name is Katara. She's represented. I created her off my crush and I love of my life, Maya Wilson. And on to the next and final character of the cast. Y'all think it's him? It's not. He trumps his power by a lot, but one of the villains, a great villain, one that took me a while to make, this, this guy right here, yeah, you thought it was, you thought it was all one of these people, no, Tim, Draquan Lashawn. Dre, I once I decided to change his name, it would no longer be Dre Quran. It would be Samaris. That's it, Samaris Harmony. And he is basically one of the main villains of the series. He is very very blunt about his plans as from his childhood he experienced death of torment because he had special powers he didn't have something elemental like earth or water and he's like the flash with the ring and it's very very bluntly He's the lantern that isn't a lantern like he his will his will to destroy things is what made him a lantern. His will to see the world struggle like he had to struggle, feel pain like he had to feel pain is what keeps his ring the way it is. And that's basically it these are all three these are the three characters that are in there for DC Legends of Legends today Heroes of Tomorrow I know I kind of 
said the name wrong, but it's you can switch it anyway. My friend's characters, instead of me actually just doing at the end of the video, I'll make his a separate video. For now, for now, I will show you the character design for each and each different character because they all have distinguishing looks as for like how they are so we'll start with zero I'll return right back here in a minute. This is his his combat look, the look he takes on when he goes on missions. His outside mission look similar to this. It's this. Check out the mask with this. And you have by far an interesting character. Fit, that's all. That and not these. It was actually right here. This right here is his normal walk around the street look. Doesn't look too different, except he wears a backpack instead of his cape, and he still has a mask. Now, on to the next character. Okay, okay, one error I've made. I have yet to say who Draquan is based off of. Draquan is based off of my conflicting ideals with my long since late father. My mom has always told me that me and his moral code and ideals have been always different. I am, she says I am intelligent like him. I I'm charismatic, I know how to treat women, all that. I'm almost exactly like him, it's just my morals and my conflicting ideals are way different than his, which is why I made him the villain. And this character is based off of him. But I digress. We're on to Katara Sensei. And she's kinda no different. And as you see her <laughs> this J 
she currently is also in the Tokyo Ninja High League. This is the Avatar State. I don't think she has the armory. Could have sworn I give her the armory, unless I've been doing missions. I did it. Oh. That's why. I'm gonna put it right there. No. Right here. Where's the armory? Oh, there's the armory. I was just wondering where it went, to be honest. This, this is Galaxy Guitar. She basically just, it's basically look like this. Same pit, just the clown mask is switched out. The clown mask, well, the clown mask is the same, but she wears a galaxy fit instead of her Kryptonian fit. And right now, she still has her two handed weapon. And on to the final character. Be back in a minute. Oh, now I'm the final character. Mm. And I really have to say for this character, it's really not a lot. This current hit. Currently, like it's current fit. It's currently the only fit he has. And I think he sells skill points. Do I still do have skill points? I have two, and I haven't spent them all yet. But to the internet, what he has, he has hand blast. His original. I don't know what else he has. Shield. He has a shield. Two and he, that's it. I think he doesn't have super. A common thing for all my characters to have is super strength. So let me just spend all 81 of these points. So this game doesn't have a little hissy fit with what I'm doing. There's nothing else I can really do, so. Let's look at one of these hand blast moves. My triangle. And then. Yeah, that's basically it. This is his only fit. I'll show you when I eventually live stream another fit I can come up with. But as so of right now, this is the only thing he has. Uh, two source marks, eight cardinal marks, 107 marks of legend. Mm -hmm. Basically, it. 
Not a lot of cash. I think it already needs to be repaired. I think it does. This is better. Yeah, I don't know what's making him so weak, but um, hmm. while I'm doing this, this is kind of the end of the video. Um, new project coming soon. DC Legends of Heroes of Tomorrow, Legends of Today, Jammers Two videos coming up couple days from now um, Dragon Ball set live stream is going to be happening soon and more AMVs catch you guys later this is Mikaki signing out